as I've always believed. There's nothing that can't be explained. Oddity is a 2024 supernatural horror movie. Written and directed by Damian McCarthy, it stars Carolyn Bracken, Gwim Lee, and Tang Murphy. The story is about a blind woman who's trying to uncover the truth behind her sister's death with the help of her psychic abilities. What do you want? You're in trouble. What? Would you just open the door? I am telling you that there is someone in there with you. Guys, this movie was a shocker. I did not expect anything as good as this actually was. It was a lot of fun. It really has those fun, creepy vibes and horror vibes that I just feel like I don't get enough of. Cause too many movies now, they take things so serious and they have, I don't know, there, there's like a hidden message and, and this deeper meaning and all that. And that's great. I'm a fan of those. I'm a fan of the art house movies, the, the slow burn, whatever. I, I love all types of horror, but movies like this that have a more traditional horror feel to them. I'm not saying it's a comedy. It's not fun in that way. It takes it serious. It's just very creepy, atmospheric, moody, uncomfortable, but in a fun, like it reminds me in a lot of ways of just that creepy feeling you get when you're out trick or treating with some friends, when you're, you know, just barely old enough to go trick or treating. And there's that eerie, creepy feeling in the air, but exciting at the same time. This made me feel that way. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a wild thing for me to say, but this actually scared me twice. I'm not saying this is a scary movie in general, but there are a couple scenes that genuinely shocked me. One in particular, where I actually jumped out of my seat and went, ah, like that? I can't even remember the last time that's happened to me. I watched so many horror movies. Not only do I not get scared, but I don't even get startled. I don't even get a little shiver up my spine. Like it's very rare that a movie gets me much at all just because I've seen so many. And it's not that this movie did something completely unique and like nothing we've ever seen before or anything like that. It's just what it does, it does it extremely well. The timing, the pacing, the way this is edited, the anticipation and anxiety that builds up, the tension, is really, really well executed. And I should have known because the same writer director of this also did Caveat a couple years ago. And that was one of my favorite movies. I think it was 2021. It was one of my favorite movies that year. And one of the most underrated horror movies we've had in recent memory. Because every time I mention that movie and tell people, hey, you need to check out Caveat, they always write back a comment and are like, wow, dude, thanks for the recommendation. That movie was eerie and really cool. And once again, I feel like he nailed it with this one. Now, keep in mind, this is a small kind of movie. It's not one that's a real huge concept or or wild anything like that. I mean, it really takes place in one location, but it's this really cool, old house that just the house itself the way the house looks the lighting and all that it's eerie and it is like void of color void of life it feels haunting just simply the presence of the house by itself but then there's a number of things because this woman owns a curio shop and she's got all these weird oddities all these weird collectibles these psychic things these cursed items these haunted items whatever just all these strange things and it was even fun because that weird little rabbit thing from caveat makes an appearance in this it's on a shelf in her shop at one point so just the idea that this takes place in the same universe as that that's also exciting to me but this was really well acted, especially Carol Bracken, because she plays two roles. She plays both these twin sisters in the movie. And so the one dies like pretty much right away in the movie. And so now this other one, the, the other sister who's blind and psychic is trying to figure out what exactly happened to her because she just doesn't believe what the police are saying, like who supposedly killed her and all of that. It just doesn't add up to her. And so she goes on a mission to try to figure out what exactly happened to her sister and just 
you know, goes down this rabbit hole and starts to figure things out. And it gets weirder and more strange and just creepy as it goes. But there's a few items in this, especially this wooden man that is just so creepy because he just sits there. He doesn't do anything. It's just this wooden sculpture man thing, something like a totem or a golem, just this weird thing that just sits there. But it's like always present in the corner of your eye. And the way they utilize it in this is really smart. I won't say exactly what happens, but you're constantly waiting and thinking it's gonna do something. And what they do with it, I think is very fun. But the visuals, the mood, the atmosphere, the lighting, the editing, everything is super on point in this. And like I said, it's a fairly simple story. It's not a super complex, convoluted kind of thing. It's just a fun little paranormal haunted ghost story that is really well executed. And it's cool because it's put out by IFC Shutter, so it's gonna drop on the Shutter you know, at some point this year, I would think definitely before Halloween, because this has got a really fun vibe to it that I think would play well that time of year. But I just can't get over that this movie actually got me because I've seen so many movies and I'm literally, it's been years since a movie got me that bad. And I wouldn't even say it startled me. It actually scared me. Like startling is one thing where it's like a loud bang or something. And you're just kind of like that. This wasn't that. This was literally the timing and the pacing was so well executed that it actually got me. It actually made me startled, scared, you know, whatever you want to call it. And that just made me so happy. I had such a good time with this. It's been such a great month as a horror fan. We got Pearl, then last week we had Long Legs, and now this week Oddity. And all three of them, I had a good time with. I did a review of all of them, so definitely check those out. But it's just a great time, like I always say, to be a horror fan. It's just so much fun. And it's going to be great this Halloween season because all these movies we've had coming out, especially the IFC Shutter ones, are slowly dropping on Shutter. So for those of you that don't go out to a theater and see them, because like a movie like this is on a limited release. It's not like every single one of you will probably have it in a theater near you. And so it's fun that you're gonna have all these things to check out come Halloween season. So I'm definitely gonna have to put together a master list of Shudder movies to recommend for this Halloween season soon. Like I said, I had a great time with this. I think if you get a chance to go see it in theaters, you should. But either way, when it drops on Shudder, this is definitely one to put on your list. I'm not saying it's a game changer or an all timer or anything like that. It's just a really well executed, fun little ghost story that I think you could have a good time with. But that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week, I also wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew to you guys over on patreon and to the channel members over here you guys mean so 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 much to me and if you would like to help support this channel over on patreon there's a link down in the description or you can become a channel member and help support the channel that way by hitting the join button down there but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun and if you enjoyed this click right here to watch me talk about long legs and i'll see you guys next time